Hi everyone, welcome to Apple Tech page. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to fix could not sign into iMessage or FaceTime error on Mac. Solution 1 is delete your Mac's apsd.plist file. Open terminal on your Mac and type the following command. Or you can remove this file by going to your hard drive library preferences. Then drag the com.apple.apsd.plist file to trash. Next, you have to enter the admin account password to remove. Once you remove, restart your Mac. Then try to log into iMessage and FaceTime. Solution 2 is check your internet connection. Sometimes you get this error when your internet speed is slow. So delete the Wi-Fi network and reconnect it. Click Apple menu and select System Preferences. Next, click on Network. Then select Wi-Fi in left side. Now click Advanced at bottom. Here, select your Wi-Fi network and click minus icon. Then click on Remove in pop-up window. Finally, click on Apply to confirm this process. Once done, restart your Mac and reconnect your Mac to Wi-Fi. Solution 3 is Turn off iCloud Keychain. First, click on Apple menu at left corner, then select System Preferences. Next, tap on your Apple ID. Under Apps on this Mac using iCloud, and tick the box for keychain. Then click keep on this Mac to keep a copy of your Safari passwords and credit cards information on your Mac. Or you can select delete from Mac if you don't want this information on your Mac. Then close system preferences and restart your Mac. Now open iMessage or FaceTime and try again. Solution 4 is Enable your Apple ID for iMessage. Open Messages on your Mac. Next, click on Preferences under Messages menu. Then click on Accounts. Now select iMessage from the left sidebar. Here, if you see your Apple ID information, check the box for Enable this account. If already checked, uncheck and check the box again. Solution 5 is check date and time. Select system preferences under Apple menu. Next, click on date and time. Select date and time tab, then check the box for set date and time automatically. If it's selected already, deselect it and wait for few seconds and select it again. If the checkbox is grayed out, then click on padlock icon and enter the admin password to unlock. Then select time zone tab and select the box for set time zone automatically using your current location. Solution 6 is reset NVRAM or PRAM. If your Mac is turned on, then shut down your Mac first. To do that, click on Apple menu and select Shutdown. Again click on Shutdown. Then turn on your Mac by pressing the power button and immediately press and hold these 4 keys together. Option plus Command plus P plus R. Release these keys when you hear the startup sound for a second time or when your Mac restarts. If your Mac has T20 security chip, Release these keys when the Apple logo appears and disappear for the second time. Wait until your Mac restarts. It may take 20 to 25 minutes to restart. Solution 7 is make sure that your Mac is up to date. Click Apple menu and select System Preferences. Next, click on Software Update. If update available, click on update now button. 
Thanks for watching. Do like, share and subscribe to Apple Tech page.